Are you the kind of person who's tired of spending so much time either on your traditional or digital art that the other one suffers? Well, you've come to the right place because here we are going to combine them both. Using this pencil sketch, my phone and Procreate, I'm going to show you how you can digitally colour your pencil sketch. You've completed your ridiculously good pencil sketch. So what's next? You have to get a really good photo. The camera is not the most important thing here. I'm using my iPhone and most smartphones these days can take excellent photos anyway. But the most important thing is the lighting. You need to make sure that you have the most natural lighting that you can get and the most even lighting that you can get. My sketchbook is right beside the window, but obviously there is a very strong sunlight coming in. So I've created a shadow just using my iPad just to block that main light, but I still have a lot of natural light flooding the page. It's pretty much as even as I'm going to get, so I make sure to take the photo with this setup. Once you've taken that photo with even lighting, let's import that into Procreate. So let's go ahead and open up Procreate and we're going to go to the photo option here and we can select the sketch that we want to uh, colour. So for this one I will be picking this. Okay, so at the moment it's pretty clear, you know, I tried to take the best photo that I could but there are still some adjustments we can make just to ensure that we have a really good base to work on when applying our digital colours. So as you can see at the moment, it's kind of got a yellowy hue to the paper and the paper is just that colour anyway. So what I can do is I can actually change the saturation of that and also play around with the colours to try and make it a little, a little bit brighter and more towards the whiter scale. So what we can do here is we go to our adjustments and I think first I will play around with the curves just to brighten it up and also apply a bit more contrast. So I don't want to go to the red, green or the blue. I just want to change the overall adjustments and not the actual colours themselves. So if I just go to the mid-tones here, if I just bring it down, it's going to slightly darken those mid-tones. And when I bring this top one across, it's going to play around with those brighter colours, so like the paper and the highlights. And down here at the bottom will be the darkest tone. So if I bring that in closer, it's going to make it darker. And you can play around with this yourself. It's whatever your preference is. I prefer to have something a bit more contrast and to brighten it up as much as I can so that it doesn't affect the colours that I add on afterwards. So I think that's okay for now. I'm happy with the contrast. And now I'm going to just play around with the actual colours themselves. So I'll go into colour balance. Now, like I said, it's kind of got that yellowish hue. So if I just add a little bit more blue, that kind of helps a little. And tiny bit magenta. Now there are still going to be some variations in the colour because when I did take this photo the paper itself was curved so it's created some slight shadows but for the most part I'm not going to be colouring on that anyway so it's not a big deal and even if I just go and check and the colours, if I just colour pick, it's not too bad like it's, it's almost white and over here you know that's white and down here so at least they're not saturated they're not over here they're, they're very close to the desaturated side of the color so I'm quite happy with that and if I compare it to the original so you can see the difference there's quite a huge difference now that I see it uh, the original it was not as there wasn't as much contrast and obviously the paper itself has a kind of ivory yellowy tone so what I did with those adjustments with the curves and the colour balance is that I have brought back some contrast so that the, the pencil looks a little bit darker and the paper looks a bit brighter and then with the colour balance as well I've kind of taken away that yellowish hue and I've tried to make it a little bit more neutral so that it doesn't affect my digital colours. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the sketch layer to multiply. And the reason we do this is because it then allows any colors that we apply on a separate layer to actually go over these colors and not hide the liner itself. 
So that's our multiply layer, and now we're going to create a new layer. This must be placed underneath the sketch multiply layer, because if it's not, you will cover up those lines. And I'll just show you here. I'm going to color on this layer here. And as you can see, because it's on top of the line art multiply layer, you're not going to see those lines anymore. So if we just place that underneath, there we go. Now we can actually see our sketch. So it's really, really important that you make sure that you are coloring on the correct layer. So this is what I normally do. So I just start coloring from there. Now you have to understand that you're not working on a purely white base. So you may pick a color that looks perfect. It's like, okay, um, for this particular reference, the skin tone is quite light. Maybe it's around here. But as soon as you put that on, it's going to look a bit darker. And obviously the reason why is the line art itself is a multiply layer, which means it's going to multiply the color that is on that layer with the color that you're putting on top. Now, because it's slightly darker than white, it's going to make this dark, this color here itself darker as well. So you just kind of have to bear in mind that when you are coloring on top of your, your sketch and the photo you've taken, if the paper is not pure white, is going to affect your colors. So bear that in mind. Hopefully that explains my process when coloring a pencil sketch digitally. And I think the last time that I did this, I was using Photoshop. So that was quite a long time ago. And that's a very, very in-depth tutorial that I literally talk about every single step of how I colored that image. So if you're interested in that one, um, I have it here up here now. You can click on that link. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe because I will be bringing you more tutorials and I have lots of other stuff on the way as well. You know, I've been using Copic markers a lot, so I have some tutorials on that coming soon. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Stick around to watch the rest and I'll see you in my next video. Um, I should have made a copy of that. So that's covered. And we should just bring that back underneath our sketch. Nope, I was on the wrong layer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try this again.